Hi, welcome back to Sweet Peas and Saffron. If you're new around here, I'm Denise, and I share meal prep recipes that are gonna make your life so much easier during the week. Today I'm gonna to share some of my favorite vegetarian dinner recipes. While these are not necessarily meal prep recipes, some of them can work for meal prep, so I will give you some tips throughout the video. We're gonna start off with an easy red lentil doll. Now, this is by no means an authentic doll recipe. This is my interpretation of the classic made with North American pantry staples. So hopefully you have everything you need to make this recipe hiding in your pantry. We're gonna start off by adding some olive oil or ghee to a pot, and we're gonna add an onion and saute until it's soft and translucent. When your onion is soft, make a space in the middle and add your garlic and ginger. You can add a little extra olive oil if you find your pan is getting a little bit dry. Now we're going to add our spices. So there's quite a few spices in this recipe. I recommend taking the time to measure them all out in a bowl so that you're not like measuring them in and then your spices are burning. So make sure you have them in a bowl and ready to put in to cook. Now we wanna take the time to toast our spices because this really helps deepen the flavors in this recipe. So make sure that you don't skip this step. So we're using curry powder, ground cumin, coriander, garam masala, and turmeric, as well as salt. So add them to the onion and garlic and ginger and just toast them for one to two minutes. Um, make sure that you stir frequently because they can stick to the bottom of the pan and you definitely don't want them to burn. Now we're going to add a little bit of our stock. We're not going to add it all. We're just going to add a little bit and then we're going to use our spatula to deglaze the pan, scraping up all of the brown bits, any spices or onions or garlic or anything that is stuck to the pan. We want to make sure we don't miss out on that added flavor. Now we're going to add the rest of the stock, one can of diced tomatoes, and one and a half cups of red lentils. We're going to simmer for about 30 minutes. Make sure that you do stir occasionally and if you notice anything sticking to the bottom of the pan, reduce the heat. We like to serve over rice with naan bread and this is one of our favorite pantry staple meals. This recipe is great for meal prep. It can keep in the fridge for up to four days and it makes great freezer friendly lunches. So I like to portion this out with rice and the occasional vegetable and freeze for up to three months. So those are like ready-made lunches that you just have to thaw and reheat in the microwave. All right, my next vegetarian dinner recipe is a sun-dried tomato chickpea pasta. You might remember this from my one pot pasta freezer packs video. If you haven't seen it, check it out up here. This is another great recipe for meal prep because you can prep it before cooking or after cooking. So if you wanna make freezer packs, I encourage you to check out the freezer pack video. You basically just assemble all your ingredients except a pasta and you can freeze them. And then when you wanna cook this, you don't have to measure anything out. You just thaw your freezer bag and dump it in the pot with your pasta and cook it up. So to make this recipe, we're going to add to a pot mushrooms, salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes, sun-dried tomatoes, which have been drained and chopped finely, one can of chickpeas drained and rinsed, two cups of pasta. You can use a variety of shapes, including rotini, penne, bow tie, just stay away from anything that's huge or anything that's tiny as these have different cook times. And we're also going to add vegetable stock. Stir it all up, put the lid on, and simmer for 10 minutes. You're going to want to make sure that you take the lid off and stir every two minutes, but put the lid back on in between stirs. Once your pasta is soft and has absorbed most of the liquid, we're going to add in our cheese and chopped fresh spinach. Stir it all up and cook until the spinach has wilted slightly and enjoy. So leftovers of this recipe keep well for meal prep as well. You can store them in the fridge for up to four days and you can also freeze them for up to three months. Our next recipe is a spicy tofu noodle bowl. Now I'm gonna show you how to meal prep it, but this works great as a dinner option as well. So we're gonna start off with a block of extra firm tofu and we're going to press it for at least 30 minutes. Next, we're going to cut it into cubes and fry in olive oil with some salt and pepper. You wanna fry it until it's lightly golden and then I'm showing you how to put it into a meal prep bowl, but if you were making this a stir fry, you could just add your zucchini noodles right to the pan. So we're going to add zucchini noodles, 
and we're going to add cooked whole wheat pasta. We're going to make a quick sauce with rice vinegar, reduced sodium soy sauce, poison sauce, maple syrup, and sriracha. If you like it spicy, double or even triple the sriracha. Shake it all up, and when you're ready to serve, you can pour it over, but again, if you're making this fresh for dinner, you're gonna to wanna to add the zucchini noodles to the skillet, fry them until they're a little bit soft, add your whole wheat pasta, and then drizzle the sauce over everything and toss to coat. These keep great in the fridge for up to four days, but I do not recommend freezing them just because the zucchini noodles don't freeze well and the spaghetti noodles are kind of hit or miss for freezing as well. All right guys, our last vegetarian dinner recipe is a spiralized sweet potato enchilada skillet. That's a bit of a mouthful, um, but it is a super delicious alternative to enchiladas, no rolling, and it's ready in under 30 minutes. So we're gonna start off by spiralizing a sweet potato. Now, spiralizing a sweet potato is not quite as easy as a zucchini. You definitely need to put a little bit of elbow grease in. Make sure that you pick a long, straight sweet potato. Don't go for a curvy one. I recommend using the one quarter inch blade on your spiralizer. If you use a smaller blade, you're going to need to adjust the cook time in this recipe. Okay, so once your sweet potato is spiralized, we're gonna start cooking. So in a large skillet, we're going to add oil and we're going to saute an onion until it is soft and translucent. And we're going to add the sweet potato noodles. And I like to use tongs to cook my sweet potato noodles because you can kind of flip them around and help them cook evenly on all sides. Now you're gonna wanna cook them until they are softened, but not completely soft because they can get really mushy and that's just not a great texture. So when your sweet potato noodles are cooked through, we're gonna make a space in the middle and add some garlic and saute this for about one minute. And then we're going to add black beans, corn, and four six inch tortillas that have been cut into strips. You can use corn or flour tortillas. Add two cups of enchilada sauce and one cup of cheese, so this is half of our cheese. We're going to cook for another five or so minutes and then we're going to sprinkle the rest of the cheese over top and put the lid on the pan to help the cheese melt. Once your cheese is melted over the top, you are ready to serve. This is great with a variety of toppings. We love adding avocado, cilantro, some Greek yogurt. You can use your imagination and go nuts. Due to the tortillas in this recipe, it doesn't keep quite as well as the others, but it is good for leftovers for up to two days. After that, they just get kind of mushy, and that's not a texture that I enjoy. And also, I don't recommend freezing them for that reason. So those are four delicious vegetarian dinner options and they do work, some of them, for meal prep. So I hope this gives you guys some ideas for Meatless Monday or any day of the week, really. Let me know if you try any of these recipes. I love hearing feedback from you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, I know you're gonna love the next video. So check it out over here.